This is a video for Lower 164 Hall Court. This is Hall Court. It's a nice neighborhood. A lot of um, homeowners live here and really keep up their, um, their yards. This is Upper Hall. They've got a two-car garage. You're sharing the bear box there. At wintertime, you're gonna park here and then you go down a, a staircase right over there um, because there's steps. Because down here, it's a very large driveway, which is great, but it's slanted, so you'd fall on your butt if you um, try to walk down in the wintertime when it's snowy. Um, I often tell people to park on this side because people that come down this street in the winter if they do slide out on this corner, end up over here. So it's best to just park here. You could um, have snow service for this area to park a few cars. And then again, you would walk down that way, down those stairs if it's slippery. Um, there's multiple entrances. You can see that there's a lot of parking and we actually also have this little hidden spot too. Um, although it's not covered for if there's a boat, a, RV or some type of storage. Um, the garage has all our crap in it, so unfortunately you're unable to use that. Um, this is a little wet room area. We have digital locks um, coated on all the doors. This stuff will be gone, of course, and so you could hang skis or put your bicycle, whatever you might want. This is the door to the garage. Um, so this, we don't you often use this one, but it's an optional third entrance. Usually the red cabinet is where we put our alcohol. You got a little extra mini fridge for um, refrigeration, uh, sodas and such. Um, the couch is actually, if you do have somebody stays over, you could remove the pillows and um, it's actually decently comfortable. Not super, of course. Um, this is a poker table that actually flips over for dining. Um, there's a lot of big windows, which is nice, but we don't get a lot of brightness because it is covered. Um, this way, the hot tub is um, doesn't get a lot of snow. And also, when you go down that side, um, it's covered for you to walk down with not a lot of snow there. We're actually redoing the deck. Um, long story there. Too long for the video. Um, there's DVD, VHS, games, a whole bit. Uh, we only have streaming TV. There's no live TV. Here is a, a laundry room with storage. So you got a lot of shelving there. A regular vanity, laundry basket, full-size laundry, laundry stuff, little ladder there. And behind these three um, curtains, there's um, actually very large storage area so you can see it's pretty deep inside and there are three equal the same for storage you can see how deep it is um up there is actually the staircase to the upstairs and we just have a block with styrofoam for soundproofing but if you did want to put some type of storage in there that would work also um three stools two, four, six chairs for dining. Um, you do have dishwasher, garbage disposal, gas range. It's the ice maker, but you have to open the refrigerator to do so. Um, this is a fancy microwave that I don't know how to use. It's got the convention, um, bake and such. Um, all the dishes are um, stay here that you could see we are stocked and ready for a party. Oops. And right now, these are about five different projects I have going. Here is pantry. So you have your area for Costco's and stuff. That one will be unlocked and opened. Here actually is the home heating system. It gets warm upstairs, so we do have the option of just shutting off the upstairs because this is a heating system where water runs through the house. So it's supposed to be better for allergies because it doesn't blow. Um, but it seems to keep the warm water in there 
And so it's a little bit too hot upstairs still, even sometimes in the winter. Um, here's some nice French doors that open up um, all the way, which is great when you're having a party and it's warm out. Um, this is a mess. You'll have to look at the photos for what this really looks like. There's the other door. Um, there is storage underneath the deck, you can see. Um, up here is where you would go if you're gonna dump the trash upstairs or a winter entrance. You can see it's nicely covered. And even the staircase, although it's not covered, it's pretty protected by trees. So um, there's usually not too much snow on that staircase. So it's two bedroom, one bath. This is the guest bedroom. It's got a little heater in there, but you probably never use it. The TV is a bit oversized. We had an extra one, so we put it in here. Um, the little side tables are great because you could also use it to put coffee or whatever. Um, they're queen size beds, so it's nice. Um, a good option for friends that want to stay over. Decent size um, closet in here. Um, out this window, you could see the house across the street right over here, but it is still pretty private. Nobody can really see in. Um, big windows. You can see this room keeps really warm. Sometimes you can even sleep with the window on because the heater you can see here runs all the way across. So this room stays really warm. Uh, being a lower unit, it also has a lot of um, protection. So it stays cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Um, your regular size full bathroom with shower tub. And then there's drawers on this side. It's got the little medicine cabinet. Oops, there goes my tummy. <laughs> and then um, weather, a little extra storage here. And then this is the regular bedroom. TV and tables. They have a lot of storage in them also. And then this one here. It's got some shelving down below and in little bit of hooks to um, put items on, of course. Um, right there, you can see, is the Wi-Fi modem. This is a, a queen-size bed. Oh, in this closet here, um, we have all of our stuff. We keep it locked in the, um, in the wintertime when we're renting it. So you do have a lot of storage. You have this cabinet here, the three in the living room, um, the pantry area, the half or the, uh, laund the laundry room as well, um, and also under the deck if there's items you wanna keep. Again, you can see there's tons of glasses and such bowls. Um, I do have hardware, um, little fix-it stuff in there, light bulbs. And then here, some of this will be gone. It's our little um, school supplies. Little mini fridge. We don't really need it ourselves. It's just me and my husband. When we lived here full-time, we used it a lot more, but we're only here a few days in the summer. This will be gone, of course. Just giving you a little secondary tour. Hello.
He's already working on the deck. Those will be gone. Um, this has a motion light up here for at nighttime. There's also a motion light up here. And there's one on the deck. Also at night when you're in the jacuzzi, the jacuzzi people come twice a month to clean. Um, we have it labeled, it used to be a, a vacation rental, but if you leave it up, the motion light will come on. It's great because if there is a, a bear on the, the deck or something, you could see if there's something there. If you don't want the lights to go on, you just go ahead and push it down. But when you did that, you could see the kitchen light and the poker table light um, do not work. But when you put it back up again, you can see it lit up in the kitchen and the poker table. Um, two things that are kind of unusual, again, at the upstairs, um, once heat off or on, oh, it's only seasonally, generally. You just have to, they have to come, or should I say, you just, they let you know and you could just switch the, the up and down switch in the heating room. And also, your unit has the modem for the Wi-Fi. So if it ever needs to be restarted, but nowadays it doesn't seem to be an issue. Gas. And then both of these doors open up wonderfully. We don't seem to have many problems with mosquitoes, but hey, one mosquito, watch out. But otherwise, we leave the doors open all the time. That's it. Bye.